Bacterial infection caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, TB is a disease which destroys a patient's lung tissue, makes one lose appetite, sweat a lot and cough. One out of every three people is thought to be infected by the airborne TB organism, though only a fraction develop the disease. The first step to treatment is detecting it and seeking medical help. Derek has just been diagnosed with tuberculosis or TB. Very soon, he's going to have to start treatment. The treatment usually takes six to eight months. This medicine he has to take faithfully for the whole time. If at all he faults, he faces a greater challenge of developing multi-drug resistant TB, which the doctors say is the worst kind of TB. In short, I would say it's a man-made problem. It's inappropriate use of TB drugs. For each TB patient, the bacterial population in that individual are in groups. Among them, a small proportion is resistant strains. Now, if somebody doesn't use drugs in the right dosage, the right combinations, and takes them for appropriate duration, you are likely to select subpopulations, and the resistant strains become the dominant population in that individual. Then you find that individual is drug resistant to TB. Resistant to two drugs in TB treatment, rifampicin and isoniazid. These are the king drugs in the treatment of TB. So if you resist those two, there is no need to change you to more toxic, more expensive and more difficult to use drugs. Sometimes the individuals may not be at fault. When maybe uh, there is delivery disruption and patients are not accessing them. The multi-drug resistant TB risk groups include those diagnosed with TB like Derek or are suspected of having TB or those who have been previously treated with TB, those exposed to non-drug resistant TB patients TB HIV patients and health workers with TB. What is important is for the patient to be protected. I left most of it to God and we have been protected that way. Diagnosing MDR TB requires a rapid diagnostic laboratory which the Minister of Health has set up at Mlago Hospital. Other districts to get laboratories are Mbale, Gulu, Arua and Imbara. According to the surveillance system on ground, there are 237 MDR patients in the country. At Mokono Health Center 4, they have four patients with MDR TB, but these are waiting for the second line drugs which can cure the resistant TB. But these have not been in the country since 2008. Of the 237 patients with MDR TB, only 34 have received treatment. So can the 203 who are not receiving just give up and die? No, the doctors say these patients ought to adhere to these guidelines. First line drugs should be stopped because they amplify resistance when taken. The patient must be educated on TB infection control, like how to cough. One should cover the mouth and nose using an elbow hanky to avoid spreading germs. The patient must spend most of the time outside where germs can be cleared by the wind. Sputum, that is saliva or mucus, should be disposed of. Barring is the best option. The sputum container should be disinfected if it is to be reused. The patient must be screened for HIV. If positive, they are to start ARVs and septrin. Nutrition is vital with a balanced diet. We expect maybe treatment to be available by the end of the year. Treating a patient with normal TB costs about 15 to 30 US dollars, about 70,000 Ugandan shillings, for the course of six to eight months. But resistant TB costs are staggering. 100 times more per patient for about two years. In other countries, it is 1,000 times more. There is another worst case of resistant TB, extensively drug-resistant TB, XDRTB, which does not respond to some MDRTB drugs. According to the Global Alliance for TB Drug Development, in a 2006 XDRTB outbreak in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, 52 or 53 people who contracted the disease died within months. It is estimated that 7 out of every 10 XDRTB patients die within a month of diagnosis. Known cases of XDRTB in Uganda were two, and they died. The universal target set by the World Health Assembly by 2015 is to treat 80% of MDRTB patients. The government should be committed, health workers should be committed, the community should be committed. But our effort is to detect as much as possible because this has an infection control element. If you manage to put all TB patients in one basket, treated them at a go, then you've virtually achieved the total control. But even as the community does the monitoring, there will be no help for MDRTB patients as long as new, simple and affordable drugs are not available.
Adherence to guidelines of non-treatment care will only accord MDR-TB patients a year or at most two of living and for XDR-TB patients a month. Florence Nalimba, NTV.